The city of Charlotte rocked by scandal. Its leader arrested, charged, and resigned, all within hours after allegations of federal corruption surfaced. Public corruption is a high priority of the U.S. Attorney's Office. Now, Channel 9 is pushing forward, learning how city leaders will gain back the public's trust and that this case is far from over. The government will want to look to see if there's others involved. Now, legal experts say the 48 page criminal complaint that outlines evidence against former Mayor Patrick Cannon is just the tip of the ice. That's right, Natalie. They say there could be a lot more players in this corruption case that extend beyond the former mayor. And our team of reporters spent the day moving this story forward, asking what's next for city leaders. But first, let's start with Eyewitness News reporter Jim Bradley, who spent some time with a defense attorney today and delved deeper into the criminal complaint documents. Jim. Blair, so much has happened so fast, it's almost as if the legal system is taking a moment to catch its breath today. We have learned that the federal grand jury won't be meeting here at the courthouse in Uptown for another week and a half. So an indictment in the Pat Cannon case is obviously highly unlikely before then, but this corruption investigation surrounding Cannon is still very active. It may be April before prosecutors ask federal grand jurors for an indictment against Charlotte's former mayor, but none of that lessens the seriousness of the corruption charges facing Pat Cannon, who just months after being elected Thank you, Charlotte. resigned as the city's mayor. Undercover FBI agents posing as businessmen say Cannon accepted $48,000 in bribes in exchange for political favors, including a $20,000 cash payment just last month inside the mayor's office. Legal expert James Wyatt says prosecutors will almost certainly ask to get it back. Doesn't mean they're going to go out and seize those assets now, but they'll put the world on notice that there are potential forfeitures in this case. Wyatt says on paper the government's case against Pat Cannon looks strong, pointing out that the apartment where Cannon allegedly accepted thousands of dollars in bribes was secretly wired. That allowed the FBI to record Cannon's activities, including the time they say he placed money from a bribe near his ear and fanned the bills. Not only is the investigation into Pat Cannon's allegedly corrupt activities not over, James Wyatt says it could grow. The government will look into every tentacle that exists here in terms of what other evidence there may be out there. Um, if there is cooperation, the government will want to look to see if there's others involved. To see now, there are others mentioned in this criminal complaint uh, that, that we haven't talked about yet, including a high-ranking city employee and a mystery businessman, a prominent businessman, according to the documents. More on what this investigation could mean for them and others as our coverage continues at 6. Live in Uptown, I'm Jim Bradley, Channel 9 Witness News. All right, Jim.